Hey guys, welcome back. It's Tavis Leaf Glover and I'm here to teach you how to build the root rectangles inside of Photoshop. So a huge thanks for all the support you guys, I really appreciate it. And uh, this is part of a Q&A type of video response to someone that asked how to build the uh, dynamic symmetry grids. So this is going to be a couple different videos. This first one is going to be just how to build the root rectangles. If you don't want to watch the video, you can also find this in the book by Jay Hambage, which is the Elements of Dynamic Symmetry. On page 18 he shows how the root rectangles are built from the square. So that's what I'm going to show you on the screen here. So let's go into the screen. All right, so here we are in Photoshop. First thing I'm going to do is just create a new document and we can make that any size, but I'm going to make it eight and a half by 11, 300 pixels. So every root rectangle starts with the square. So that's what we're going to make first. And there's a couple settings you can set up before we get started. Um, we're going to be using the rectangle tool here and make sure it's on shape. And I'm going to use about two pixels and make sure this is on solid line instead of dashed. Let me fix this again, two pixels. There we go. We're going to go into view and make sure the snap is on, extras is on. That's gonna show our, our little guides to help us line up the rectangles. And then snap to, I would say all would work best. So turn all that on and then we can get started. So right now we're gonna start with the square. So all you gotta do is draw out a square, hold shift down, and this is gonna be the beginning of our root rectangles. So what we need to do is Next, draw a diagonal across the square. And we can do that with our line tool. Make sure that's at two pixels and it's also at the shape. So we're gonna go down here, draw our line, but you can see little pink guidelines to help you align it pretty exact. All right, so now what we're gonna do, since all the root rectangles are built from the square, all we have to do is take the diagonal of the square and then swing that down, and that's gonna give us the root two. So the way I do that is just push Command T, Control T if you're on a PC, move this center anchor point over to the corner here, it's gonna snap into place, and then I'm gonna just drag this down, just lining it up there and push be okay. This is gonna show up. So it's changing the shape into a regular path and that's fine. So push okay. So now we have the length of our root two. I'm gonna rename this square. Now all I gotta do is Command J. That's gonna duplicate the square. And I'm gonna name this root two. And I'm going to push Command T on the root two layer and drag that out to the edge. And it'll snap into place into the length of this. Push OK. So now if I get rid of this line that we swung down, we have the root two and we have the square. So then we just keep going. We take the diagonal, use our line tool, take the diagonal of the root two and swing that down and we'll get the root three. So we'll push Command T move this anchor point, swing it down. You can zoom in to try and get it exact, but if it's a little off, you, the length is still gonna be the same, so it's not gonna matter because we're gonna stretch this root two out. So Command J to duplicate that layer, rename it root three, and then for the root three, we're gonna stretch this root two out and it's gonna snap into place, push okay. So that's our root three. Now we have root two, root three, and the square. And we'll just keep going along. Uh, if you're off of this line tool, all you have to do, say you're off of it, push U, and that's the shortcut for the line tool. I'm gonna line this up a little better, stretch it up. Look for those pink lines to guide me. That's good. And then I'm gonna swing this down, Control T, or Command T. Move the anchor point to the corner, swing this down. Okay, now we have the length. I'm gonna duplicate this root three layer. So I'm gonna duplicate that. Now I'm gonna stretch that out to the length of the line that we swung down. It's gonna snap into place. So already we've got the root four built. Interesting thing about the root four is that it's two squares. See how it's two squares? Now we can keep going. We're gonna do the root five, swing this down. You could do this in Illustrator. You could do this many different ways in Photoshop, but this is just the way I do it. So let me duplicate the root four, name that root five, snap it into place. All right, let's do the root six and we'll be done. Duplicate the root five, name it root six, stretch it out. And that's the root six. All right, so let's turn them all on and we'll see what proportions we have. So that's one, the root one is square to root six. Now, how do we build the phi rectangle and the root phi? and then the 1.5. Those are pretty easy also. They all start with a square. The uh, 1.5 is pretty easy. Let me just, I'm gonna command shift this square. That'll 
put a marquee around the rectangle and I'm gonna grab my line tool again and I'm gonna draw a line anywhere inside this marquee and then I'm gonna show you how to align it perfectly in the center. There we go, that's our line. And now we wanna push V, that's for our selection tool. And then up here we have our aligning buttons here. So push this centered one here and that's gonna center it inside the marquee. And then push Command D to deselect. So there we have half of the square, which we'll use for the phi rectangle and then the 1.5. Uh, all we have to do for the 1.5 is duplicate this square layer. The 1.5 is a square and a half, so this one's pretty easy. And we're just gonna drag this across, holding shift, and then there we go. That's the 1.5 rectangle. And you can draw a border around that if you like. So push view, that way we can keep it on a separate layer if you want. Oh, let's go to the rectangle tool, and we're gonna draw a rectangle around this, and then label that the 1.5. There we go. All right, so now let's do the phi rectangle, and that's also with the square. And I'm gonna use this center line. So to build the phi rectangle, we're gonna not draw a diagonal from the corner to corner. We're gonna draw a diagonal from the center of the square to the corner, and then swing that down. And that'll give us the phi rectangle. So same concept, just move this anchor point down, line it up to the bottom, then we're gonna duplicate this square, aim at phi, stretch this out, and we've got our phi rectangle. Okay, so now we have the phi rectangle. Now to get the root phi rectangle, what we do is we're gonna take a line, this bottom line, and swing that up. The full length of the phi rectangle, we're gonna swing that up. So this line is a little bit trickier to uh, adjust. Sometimes I just, I'm gonna hold Option or Alt, and I'm gonna click near this corner. That helps me find the, the anchor point, and then I'm gonna just drag it the rest of the way to the side. Zoom out, and then I'm gonna swing this up, and that's gonna give us the mark for our root phi. That looks good. Okay, and now we duplicate the phi rectangle that we already made. Label this root phi, and then we're gonna Command T or Control T, and then we're gonna squeeze this back and it'll lock into place of that diagonal. And that's the shape of our root phi. So that's all the root rectangles and the 1.5. The uh, other one that I've covered on the site is the micro four thirds. And that's basically just two of these 1.5s stacked onto each other or side by side, however you wanna look at it. But all you gotta do there is just hold option or alt, drag it up and then let it lock into place. And I'm gonna duplicate this one, turn the 1.5 off. I'm gonna merge these, and then I'm gonna turn this, Command T and turn it, and that's our micro four thirds. All right, so next video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make the basic armature of all of these root rectangles. All right, thank you so much for all the support. I'll see you next time, guys. Take care, bye. Ha 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 ha!